Uh, this is um, Hope Mikkel's co-worker. Neil Manuel here oh on gosh, the mic. I can't believe I just spaced. <laughs> I start thinking of people as like their Instagram handles rather than their names. <laughs> so he has created a skateboard company here in town with a couple of his friends. They have a motif of monkeys. I'll let you share your Instagram so I don't mess it up too. Oh, what is it? Brass Monkey Skate. SK8. Yes. I think there's some underscores in there. Just check out Brass Monkeys or, or Neil, or you'll find them through the Joy Factory kind of Instagram handle too. He's also, you know, he, he's around. He's on the, at the film circuit this evening. And uh, yeah, tell us about uh, your, your skate, your skate um, boards, how that come to be and who did you make it with? Cool. Um, yeah, so we've been making boards for coming up on three years now. Um, we started basically... Um, three years ago, there was sort of a, a bit of a hole in the Kamloops market in terms of what was available to consumers out there. Um, basically there wasn't a lot of boards for sale in the shops. The shops were kind of, I would say lacking a bit, um, after faction closed, um, faction was an indoor park and skate shop and they were really kind of taking the lead of, uh, selling hard goods and stuff like that. So they went out of business and there was a bit of a lull there and it was really hard to find sort of boards that were um, a bit of a cheaper price. Um, you know, if you're going to a, into a, a shop, you're looking at spending about $90 to get just a deck. Um, and so for me growing up, uh, we always had decks readily available for, you know, 50 or 60 bucks. And so what we sort of want to do is sort of look into that and sort of create our own board company that was able to sort of satisfy uh, those needs. Um, so yeah, we got together, me, myself, uh, Graham Ronin and Phil Ryan, uh, two guys I went to school with. Uh, we decided to just go for it and uh, yeah, we started making our own boards. Cool. Awesome. And, and so I had used to skateboard, so I know it's seven ply Canadian maple. Yeah, correct. So, so where do you bring your, where do you make your boards? How are they made? What's the the process to create your your pieces of art that I see on your walls right now? Yeah. Um, so basically, we got all of our manufacturing done in Montreal. Um, so we looked at a bunch of different options. There was some in Alberta um, through Olive. Um, we so we kind of debated uh, where we were going to get manufactured from, but we ended up going with uh, the one in Montreal. So they've been making boards for almost thirty years, thirty plus years. Um, so they're really good. Um, when Faction was around, they pressed boards for them. So we kind of had a good idea of how they held up and what the shapes were like and stuff. So we were, we were really stoked on how they came out. So basically, we just said, you know, let's let's start making our own boards. Let's put a, put an order together. And we kind of did the, the minimum order of 50 boards and rolled the dice. And uh, worst case scenario, we thought we'll be skating our own boards for the rest of our lives. <laughs> uh, thankfully... People are interested enough and stoked on the idea enough to uh, keep it going. So, yeah, we've been able to do quite a few runs now. And, yeah. Cool. And so where can someone pick up a deck? Um, basically, the easiest way to do it is you can either just message us through Instagram, the Brass Monkeys Skate, or uh, at 808 and Bench downtown. They've been really good at sort of supporting local brands, and they approached us to have our boards in the in the shop. And uh, we're super grateful for them. So 808 and Bench. Yeah, so <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm now laughing at myself because we, we talked about this before we, we started. You know, the image of your home life is not yeah. exactly what you portray on your, your Instagram handle uh, of the, the classic rock and roll skate yeah. um, crew mentality. Yeah. Um, you know, who do you skate with? You know, what's the uh, Camelot skate culture like? Um, as someone, you know, who might just pass by at Mac Park, no, MacArthur Island. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm <laughs> bad at geography. I'm so bad at geography. Um, you know, what, uh, what can they learn about the local skate scene? I mean, the local skate scene in Kamloops is phenomenal. It's, uh, it's unlike anywhere else, I'd say. Um, in terms of a small city, you really find, A, a lot of talent, uh, but B, like, it's kind of a really close-knit group. Um, so there's... There's times in bigger cities when you go to the skate park and it's really intimidating and people are really in their cliques and, you know, it's really hard to kind of talk to people and make friends and stuff. But Kamloops is kind of the complete opposite. You can go to the park and hang out for a day and you'll make 20 new friends. 
Um, so we've kind of tried to adopt that mentality with what we're doing. It's like we're less of a company and just like more of like a group of friends trying to put something out there. So we, you know, we'll go out and we'll film with whoever's at the park and try and make edits and stuff and try and just sort of uh, just do things with other people and just branch out. And uh, whether that's like making spots and building stuff around town, which we've done, or just, you know, putting out little Instagram edits of whoever's skating at the park. It's just been a really good outlet to sort of showcase a the skating in Kamloops and just sort of, I think, help build that culture and that, that fun sort of feeling of just being together and skating with a group of friends. Because with skateboarding, there's no sort of, it's not like hockey where, you know, there's meets and stuff like that. There's like contests, sure, like maybe once a year or once every couple of years. But aside from that, you know, it's people are on their own. So having sort of an outlet like what we're doing with Brass Monkeys, it gives us sort of a chance to sort of make something um with some sort of purpose behind it you know yeah totally and once all the snow disappears what's the first trick you're gonna go after what's what's on your hit list <laughs> well i got a flat ground kickflip <laughs> every time <laughs> just starting off nice and simple to be honest i don't think i've ever actually landed an actual kickflip i was only ever able to heel flip back when i when i could skate but uh yeah i skated with the with the kids down the road and they had a box and, and, you know, for a couple summers, right. That's, that's what it's all about. And yeah. it really brought us together. But when that, you know, when the box broke and yeah, one, yeah. one person decided not to skate, the next person decided it's, you know, kind of disintegrated. It's, yeah. it's really quite a, a powerful, powerful tool. And, and, you know, it's, it's amazing that you're creating a, a, a locally made item that's bringing money in, um, mm-hmm. to Kamloops, uh, for local skaters to to bring them all together i i think that's fantastic yeah. um and so you know you're you're more than just a skater you're, you yeah. you do a lot more stuff you know tell us about uh you know your film work or or where mm-hmm. we can watch your your skate films yeah um so yeah obviously i i'm i work for joy factory films and uh i'm behind a camera uh almost every day of the week whether i'm shooting photos or video or whatever um and i, I try and kind of you know keep that ball rolling on the weekends too, whether it's just going to the skate park and filming people skating. Um, that's kind of how I got into the video work in the first place was just making skateboard edits and stuff like that. So, uh, it's always fun to keep that ball rolling. And then, yeah, it's just, you know, making art, making drawings, photos, videos, whatever. It's kind of, it's the, a way to keep the ball going. Yeah. And, you know, I, I finally get to confront you for stealing my job all these years ago. <laughs> we, uh, we both applied to Joy Factory Films when it was uh, just two locals uh, who, who started it. And they were looking for the, I think, the first hire at that yep. point. Yeah. Yeah. And so you rightfully got it because you're a graphic designer and I was just some, you know, kid who, who loved, uh, you know, video stuff. So, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm kind of happy you stole that, that, <laughs> uh, that job from me because I don't think I would end up being here, yeah. um, if, if you hadn't. So, you know, butterfly effect and also thank <laughs> you. Yeah. Um, what other things are you kind of involved in around town that, uh, you think maybe people haven't really heard of? I, I've been learning a lot of things today and, and lately about things that you're just like, Oh, I didn't know that exists. What's something you want to kind of share about Canvas that's special to you? Um, in terms of the skate community, like uh, a couple of years ago, we kind of started um, just building stuff around town, um, kind of on the on the lowdown. Uh, we had a buddy of ours um, from Nova Sura, another sort of local company, who's been super helpful with getting that rolling. So we started sort of uh, building different stuff here and there, just sort of uh, seeing how it goes. So that's kind of cool. I think that's a part of the skateboard community that kind of gets overlooked is, you know, we we definitely put a lot of time and sort of even money into sort of making things work so we can skate different things and other than just going to the skate park every day. Uh, so that's fun. Um, it started as far as sort of things around town, we got involved with the, um, cam city jam this fall, um, which was the first, first skateboard contest I've seen here since I've moved here in 2009. Um, so for, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, the Kamloops skate park is probably one of the best in the country, at least in BC. And it's kind of a real shame that there's not more sort of contests and stuff like that going on. 
um, especially in recent years. So it was good to see that sort of come back. And 808 and Bench really spearheaded that and kind of put it together. So we were really glad to help be a part of that and just see like young kids come out and be super nervous and like, you know, doing the runs and practicing like up like weeks leading up to the, uh, the contest and whatnot. And then finally getting to sort of take part in all that and seeing people's hard work rewarded. Um, it's, it's really nice. Yeah, totally. I, I remember as a kid, you know, going to snowboard jams and, and, yeah. uh, yeah. I have that, that two seconds in that one edit yeah, yeah. that is tucked away on YouTube that, you know, we'll never see the light of day again, but I was so proud of that, that two yeah. seconds. So it's, it's really cool, you know, to, to see, you know, the, the younger kids and, and there is mm-hmm. some kids making some really amazing edits on YouTube. Yeah. For um, sure. just, going out and, and rocking it and, and just doing it for the love it's it's, it's awesome uh mm-hmm. and, and it really shows the side of Kamloops that that i really don't see very often yeah you know i'm i'm i love the north shore and i'm at a part of the north shore i've never honestly ventured down before yeah. so so that's really neat um but we're, we're wrapping up towards towards the close uh yeah. you know neil what's what's a couple things that you just want to share about uh you know where you'd like to see Kamloops go uh whether it be skating or, or otherwise Oh boy, I don't know. Um, I think Kamloops is a, a great place. I'm super stoked to have uh, ended up here, uh, moving from Alberta, and uh, I think uh, I think people just need to sort of a take pride in uh, in Kamloops a bit more. I think Kamloops is sort of seen as typically like a stepping stone to Vancouver or something, especially for kids growing up here, like obviously I hang out with a lot of kids that are in high school, or whatever at the skate park, and I, I think in their minds, they're kind of over Kamloops. It's, it's sort of portrayed as a, a redneck sort of town still, but I think there's a lot of potential here and a lot of great things that can be done in a small town, especially too with, uh, again, it just comes back to that sort of access to, to people. Like, you know, if you move to a big city, it's really hard to sort of make friends and find those people that share the same interests as you. Uh, whereas here, you know, it's really easy to go out and, and have a conversation with somebody and learn a lot about them that, you know, similar things you share and interests and whatnot. So as far as that, I think, I think just the mentality needs to change a bit. Camus is a really red place and, uh, yeah. I'm stoked to be a part of it. Yeah, I'm. I'm super excited the the trend that we're we're seeing in in Kamloops and, and the positive things that are that are coming about. Yeah. And you know, thanks for being one of the the front runners of a community that you know sometimes has always been kind of uh, pushed to the side a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so uh, with that, uh, I'll uh, I'll let you go back to. Well, I guess you're you're preparing for the film fest tonight, yep. so I'll let you yeah. uh, get some rest because I imagine you're gonna have a, sure. a late night. And thank you for uh, for speaking with me. Cheers. Thanks, Nevin.